Hello. Now, I concede that I may have addressed this previously in a long-form video, but due to what I've observed to be a severe lack of general awareness of this tactic amongst new players, I find it imperative that I dedicate an entire video to addressing it. The issue in question, of course, is how to instantly prevent any attack from being launched against one of your villages. There are a few requirements and caveats, of course, but I will be addressing them in addition to the core issue. So the ability that I will be demonstrating in this video is how to use interdiction to not only protect other villages, but to instantly protect the village that the monk originates from. So I think you're going to need a little bit of background here just to get a sense of where we are at with this. So I have a village selected here, one of my villages, and I'm going to go into the village and select the Make Units tab. In the Make Units tab, there are three available units depending upon your level of research. And if you have the prerequisite research completed for monks, you'll see them. They will be, uh, they'll no longer be shaded out and you can hire some. So in my case, I do have the required research to hire and use monks. So I'm going to hire one monk, return to the main map of the game world. And then on the right side of the screen, you can see the little send out monks button. Just simply click that and now you, you'll be prompted to uh, select a target. Now you can select any target uh, that sh appears on the map right now. So I could select a parish, I could select my village here. I could also select my village that I'm currently selected. Which really, it's very, it's not very obvious when you think about that. Uh, there is really nothing to indicate that you can actually do this because your village appears to be selected from the beginning. Uh, for instance, like this, uh, the village that I'm sending monks, or that monks will be originating from, appears to be already selected. So it seems a bit counterintuitive to have to select it again, but you can do exactly that. And once you have selected it a second time, essentially, you can now click the check mark here, select target for that monk and the send monks dialog will appear. As you might be able to tell, sending interdiction to this village is the only option. You cannot send excommunication or absolution. So this is very, uh, this is a mechanic that Firefly did put some thought into because otherwise those buttons would obviously be enabled as well. So it is not some sort of dodgy bug that you can exploit in the game, but rather a, a rather obscure but intended mechanic of gameplay. So, like I said, once we have arrived here at the Send Monks dialog, we simply click the Interdiction button and then click Go. And this will instantly interdict that village. So right here, one second ago, we went into the reports uh, for Stronghold Kingdoms, and one second ago, you can tell that I protected my one village. If you look at this, the information here on the report, it says my village name, 01, has protected the exact same village. So right there you go with your instant ID or interdiction. Uh, ID is sort of a game-based colloquialism when it comes to referring to interdiction, and interdiction is essentially protection against attacks. For example, uh, this village, let me select it again. It should pop up, yeah, it's interdicted now. This will protect it against all attacks from either the AI or enemy players. And you should keep in mind, however, that although it will prevent uh, the AI or uh, enemy players from launching attacks against you, it will not prevent any incoming attacks you currently have at the time of the interdiction that you apply from hitting your village. So if you have units in or armies inbound to your village, protecting it via this method will not will not uh, cancel those attacks. So I mentioned a little bit about the requirements for recruiting monks to begin with. And I think for a lot of beginning players, it's important to cover this because uh, I see a lot of, maybe not a lot, I see a fair number of new players who the idea of interdiction is an entirely foreign concept to them, despite having played for perhaps a few months already and have got themselves involved in a faction uh, that fights in wars. So, you know, to be a productive member of your faction, uh, while it does require teamwork, it should be noted that becoming less of a liability 
to the faction itself is actually more beneficial than depending upon uh, your team to protect your villages for you. Uh, there is a great deal of uh, self-sufficiency that is to be applauded within these these sort of team-based games, right? Uh, so to to gain access to interdiction, you need to research into the theology branch in the education tab of uh, the uh, research trees. Yeah, so I'm on the education tab. Uh, we look here at the branch of theology, and the sub branches that are of interest to us are first Eucharist and that will be unlocked after putting 10 points of research into theology. Simply by researching one point into Eucharist, you will now be able to interdict all of your villages, no matter or regardless of your current rank. This is plenty. Uh, when you look at the, the description for what the Eucharist research does, it can be a bit misleading when it's the, the text the help text for it says interdicts target rank level X, where X is the number uh, or the corresponding number of the rank that it allows you to interdict up to. The reason this is misleading is because it only applies to players who are not you, essentially. Uh, that may sound a little confusing, but you are always allowed to interdict yourself regardless of your rank providing you have one point of research into Eucharist. And remember, interdiction is another word for village protection. It is the, the official term for village protection, of this mechanic at least, in Stronghold Kingdoms. In addition, however, to Eucharist, uh, you're going to need to put at least one point into the sub-branch of ordination. To unlock ordination, you have to put at least five points of research into theology, so you're going to be unlocking ordination before you unlock Eucharist. Uh, however, one point of research into ordination is really all you need to protect your villages in the manner that I demonstrated at the beginning of this video. However, it is really advisable to put two points into ordination while researching this because it will allow you to not only send one monk to a nearby village or a nearby parish to influence votes and whatever, but you will then have an additional monk in reserve in case uh, incoming attacks force you to ID or interdict your village very quickly. So as an example scenario, say I am sending a monk to heal disease in my parish. Now the monk's travel time has not yet been researched, so it's going to take around about 30 minutes to, for the monk to reach my parish. However, Shortly after the monk has been sent out, I receive an incoming captain attack and a couple of timed armies with it. Now this is of concern to me because my village is vulnerable with the monk departed for the parish and since you cannot cancel monks, once you send a monk, much like a merchant, it, it will remain uh, outgoing until it reaches its destination. So this is where having two monks uh, available in your village comes in very handy as I, if I have a second monk I can simply recruit that monk in my village and then send it out for an instant interdiction of that village without having to send monks from nearby neighboring villages. Uh, this, like I said, it is a, a very important facet, an element of uh, Stronghold Kingdom's gameplay when it comes to especially higher level uh, fighting and stuff. Obvious, well, maybe not even higher level. Obviously, if you're going to be involved in wars, this is, what is a tactic, a strategy, a technique that you're going to need to learn how to use. And uh, to maximize it effectively, you need to learn how to use self-ID. It is a very simple concept, however, it is a little bit obscure. And I hope that by sort of addressing it and demonstrating how it is done, we'll see more and more new players easily grasp this concept. And I won't have to essentially look across the map and see... Uh, new players who send monks between their villages when logging off for the night because it is, it is really not necessary when you can immediately interdict a village. I think that pretty much covers what I needed to say about this. I know I tend to be a little verbose at times, but uh, to cover some really in-depth mechanics it is not always as simple as something you can cover in a couple of minutes. And, you know, if it is a little bit too long for you, you know, I think I covered the the most important stuff earlier on in the video. Of course, this video is not intended for players who uh, are current 
veterans of the game. It, it, this is not an advanced course. It is very much uh, targeted towards beginning players, and I understand that it might not be for everyone, obviously. Uh, I do hope to bring out more advanced content in the future, so I do hope uh, those of you who are here for that will continue to stick around. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Kings. What will you fight for? Play now for free.